Left 4 Dead 2 has various things with a colored outline. Some outlines only appear to survivors and some only to infected. The ones visible to humans that can be changed are hunters and jockeys when they pounce someone, survivors who have been pounced, survivors seen through walls, items at far and close distance, as well as items when you are about to die. Visible to infected are spawned infected players, not spawned infected players, survivors who are covered in vomit, and four different colors for survivors at high, medium, low and critical health. All of these color settings are console variables which we can change through scripts. We also need a second script that launches the first script like a relay. All required files for this can be found in a download link in the description. Let's start with having the game execute the relay script. We need this because the scripts have to be executed through the launch options, but unfortunately we can only execute a single script which means we need one script that executes more scripts. Find Left 4 Dead 2 in your library. Right click the game and select properties. The launch options tell the game what to do while the game boots up. At the very end we need to add plus exec followed by the name of the relay script exclamation mark exec dot cfg. The exclamation mark is just there to have the script be at the top of an alphabetically ordered list of files to find it easier. The .cfg is the file ending. It stands for configuration. I also recommend adding dash console to have your game launch with the console already opened to easier see if the scripts have been launched or not. While the properties window is still open, Click on the Local Files tab. In there, click on Browse. This will open the folder where Left 4 Dead 2 is installed. Open the Left 4 Dead 2 folder and then the CFG folder inside. In the CFG folder, unpack the downloadable 7-zip prefab. I already have the contents here exec.cfg and the glows folder. If you already have an execution relay script, just paste the content of mine into yours. Open the glows folder. Inside this folder you have a HTML file which is a color picker, a folder that contains all the stuff for that color picker and our outline glow scripts. We need this very specific color picker because the color values for the scripts need to be in a range of 0 to 1 while every other color picker uses a range from 0 to 255. If you don't trust this HTML file, use Google's color picker and divide all RGB values by 255. Open the outline glow.cfg. The first thing you see is some information which I will skip in this guide. The next three lines are echoes. They print whatever is inside of them into the in-game console. If the console doesn't show these three lines, the script has not been launched. It goes on to list every single changeable color, beginning with weapons and items that are close. Open the HTML file in any web browser to get the color picker. Find the color you would like to use. But be aware, the game was programmed to show black as invisible and all dark colors are hardly visible. The number in the red box goes to the variable that ends with R. The number in the green box goes to G and the number in the blue box goes to B. Go through this entire file and change colors to your liking, then save it and run the game. If you have added dash console to the launch options, the game should load with the console open. 
Inside this console, you should be able to read exec relay script is active, followed by outline glow script is active. If you cannot see that, the scripts have not been launched because you messed up the launch options, in which case you have to go back and fix them. Load a map and check the changed colors. All we gotta do is cross this bridge and we're here finally safe. Or they're gonna line us up against a wall and shoot us. You can also have alternating colors. For example, a rainbow fading through all colors or blinking between any color. For that, we need an additional script, which is a bit more complicated and takes the rest of this video to explain. If you are fine with solid colors and don't want alternating ones, you can stop watching right now. In the description is a link to a Google spreadsheet which is a prefab of a color alternating script. Open the spreadsheet and click on File, Make a Copy. Now you have a version that you can modify. Let me first explain what all of this does. OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 1 defines the Third Strike color red to be 1, green to be 0, and blue to be 0. It then waits 200 ticks, which is about half a second. After this time is up, it loads the next alias in the list, which is OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 2. OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 2 changes the color to green, waits, and then loads OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 3. OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 3 changes the color to blue, waits, but then it loads CL Glow Third Strike Item 1, closing the loop. The lone OG CL Glow Third Strike Item 1 down here, I'm getting tired of saying this, prompts the game to load the alias, which starts the timer. This prompt must be written after the timer setup, because if you tell it to run an alias before you tell it what the alias should do, it gets confused and does nothing. Just so you know how to expand on this, let's modify it. Press Ctrl and H to bring up the Replace window. Find CL Glow Third Strike Item and replace it with CL Glow Item or whatever CVAR you want to edit. This will automatically replace every string of text we need. I want a gradient from red to yellow and back. I will start with having red at 1, while green and blue are at 0. I will just enter 1 into red, point 0.1 into the green number. I will also change the wait duration to 10 ticks, and then use the drag fill option to advance the numbers. Once green passes 1, we'll just reverse the numbers back to 0. Now we have a color gradient from red to yellow and back. The last alias should also end up loading the first alias to create the loop. Now we also need to add the prompt to run the first alias after the timer is made. So just copy the first alias name underneath the entire timer. Now the setup is done and we can turn this into a script. Open the Glows folder in Left 4 Dead 2 and create a new text file. Name it after whatever outline glows you are changing, but the file ending must be CFG. Copy the entire script into the new CFG file and save it. Open the Execution Relay script and add another exec line, using the name of the file we had just created. Don't forget that you need to add the folder name to the path, else it will not load. Save the execution relay script. Now we are done and can launch the game. 
Exec Relay script is active. Outline Glow script is active. CL Glow item script is also active. All config files have been loaded. Let's load a map and check the colors. If it does not work, go back in this video and rewatch the steps. Follow them closely, because even omitting one thing could break the entire setup. And that is it for today. If you need help with this or any kind of modding, join the dead for mods Discord server. This server contains many modders, including me, who are ready to help. I also have my own Discord server, which is mostly for shits and giggles, but I sometimes also post pictures of work in progress mods. Links for both of these are also in the description. Take care and enjoy your new colors.